following off of our previous video slash stream and guide is I'm going to show you how to navigate through the Lake of Rot so inevitably you can end up getting to Ronnie and get yourself the Moonlight Greatsword. So if you remember, whenever we beat the Baleful Shadow in my previous stream, I just did it, you can check it out. It gave us a, where is it, discarded palace key. So now you can either do this now or we can do it then, but I'll show you how to do it afterwards. So you're going to hate this area. I hate this area. I hate this area with passion. Um, my advice would be if you have it, a lot of preserving boluses, or if you have the flame cleanse me um, incantation, you can do that. But the whole gist of this area is um, around there are some platforms you can rise, but we're just going to go straight past and we're going to go ahead and head for um, the uh, area where you are going to want to head for. So I'll, I'll go ahead and activate one of the platforms, but. Um, Point, or maybe not right now, but there is a Dragonkin soldier in this area that I have not actually beaten yet, and it's just because I, I don't want to do battle here in a Lake of Rod like my guy. I my best solution for this would just be a quick step over it all and honestly just try to get by it. Follow the path to be able to raise the platform that you can use to. See the dragon soldier over there just kind of sitting in the shadow, but what we're going to do is we're going to head for the complete opposite. This area right here. So make sure you keep yourself filled up. That's an extremely important thing to do. Um, if you're quick enough, you should be able to just rush through it all and keep up hill. And that's what you're planning on doing. Gotta watch my health. I am gonna grab this one though, simply because um, at some point I will come back here and do the Lake of Rod. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have to No, that's not what I wanted to see. No, I didn't expect to get risen up myself. Um, so, I actually didn't raise that one before, so we've actually got to head back down here soon. So, I haven't actually beaten this, uh, beetle yet, so... Go ahead and keep yourself filled. Get yourself a somber smithing stone. A turn tail and turn back around, that's the whole point. Keep yourself healed, that's literally the most important part here. Try to, you know, allocate your flasks to probably all your health here. I would advise that we could at least have six or seven health flasks. Because you'll go through them quick if you don't deal with the rot. So when you dealt with the rot and you're heading here, what you're going to want to do is head down the side. activating your grace so we're gonna do this now so you know where to go after you've gotten your grand cloister grace we need to head to the royal Ray of the grand library so if you guys remember do you guys remember that uh, little chest that you could never open here well that's what the discarded palace key will be used for basically we'll need what's in the chest to actually get to um, the area after the secret boss in there. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. Take that dark moon ring. Now that's gonna be very, very, very important. After we've done that, it's automatically back to the Grand Cloister. It's crazy that the Lake of Rod is below the Ray of Lucario Academy, huh? Thought that was a little weird. Once you have your ring, teleport back to the cloister. So 
So after you have the ring, go ahead and head down. And you come back, go ahead and head down. Uh, there's gonna be, you're gonna have to platform yourself down. Um, you can drop down right there if you want. That's uh, your decision. There's a golden centipede you can grab. Go ahead and grab it. I have not been able to make that jump, but you're gonna jump down. And you're gonna be dealing with a bunch of these assholes, so um, deal with them properly. I I can't deal with these guys because they're so annoying. like they just skitter all over the place. If you head straight up there, we're just gonna dodge it. Um, if you go back there, you'll find an ulcer dragon. He'll drop a golden seed. If you head up there, you'll find a scarlet rod dagger. The long Quick, straight, simple. Once you head down and head west, take a take a go to a south. Come to this coffin. Go ahead and rest inside this coffin. So now the big, big, um, the big step is getting through this optional boss, and honestly. It's, uh, I don't know how it's going to be right now, considering <gasps> um, that I'm on my third playthrough. I didn't play him. I didn't fight him my second time through. Um, but uh, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see here. Look at that. Estelle, natural born of the boy. I want to use my mimic. Let's see how the mimic is, even though it's been apparently nerfed like a butt. I didn't expect it to actually hit me. So it can bleed. Watch out. You saw me fight one of these. Yellow Annex Tunnel. Uh, he's not too, too bad, honestly. You just need to be careful. I noticed my mimic is going to be. Uh, so watch out, that'll do damage to you here if you let it hit you. This one is a lot easier if I'm being 100% with you than the one. Grab is a little so grab it from above, but he doesn't form like six different versions of himself to do it. You dealt with him. Honestly, I don't see what they're talking about. The mimic is kind of decent still. That is basically the same as that. Okay. It's not too hard to deal with. Just stay at the stay at the proper distance. After you dealt with the cell from the natural corner of the void. Now this is where that ring is gonna come in um, handy basically. You're not going to be able to advance any further until you grab that ring. You'll actually be able to see the other side open and then you can actually go to it. Now that ring is very important for your quest line too. If you're, you know, saying you want to go through with Ronnie's and you followed her steps up till now. If you are quite unsure, um, touch, touch the grace. If you're unsure, you can check out my previous stream, I go over it a little bit, but basically after you first talk to Ronnie, she'll ask you to get the Finger Slayer braid, braid, Blade, bring it back to her, she'll give you the Carrion Inverted Statue, take it to the Carrion Study Hall, place it, make your way through, and you'll get yourself a Curse Mark. Now from there, with the Curse Mark, you can either advance with Fia's, um, <coughs> Fia's ending, I believe or you can advance with Ronnie, but either way you can still do those quest lines. It's just whoever you does, whoever you does, whoever you do first primarily 
is who the ending will be aligned to for that and the other one. So, going up that well, we find ourselves up here at the top of the west side mountain we could never make our way up to. So, once you're here, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Go ahead, rest, relax, what you got to do. Now what we're gonna do is head up to that um, uh, church basically. So if you've beaten the dragon or you've like beaten up the dragon, oh nope, he is gonna be here. So you can also fight him, I'm gonna avoid him for the moment and I'll uh, I'm gonna head forward first. Get a bunch of starlight shards here if you want. You know, because starlight shards are cool. I'm gonna grab them and he is nice to have. Go ahead and activate this grace. Now we're getting at the very end of the quest line for Ronnie as well. Um, so what we're gonna do the hole over here in the church. We're gonna make our way down. I need a torch or else I feel like I'm gonna fall to my death. Maybe not. Once you drop down, make your way through the tunnel. Uh, when you come to the end, you'll see a bit of a disturbing sight. But, you know, nonetheless, I wouldn't expect anything less. You'll see that she has basically done some awful stuff. So after you interact with her, and you wait a minute, talk to her. So perhaps I am, I go now, I bid thee, and once so. So after she leaves, just wait in the area for a second. Now you got yourself the Dark Moon Greatsword, or as you know it, the moonlight great sword. So I'm actually gonna head down just a little bit because I don't know what I don't know what is up here. I, one of these has to be. What is up? Oh, not much, man. What about you? Let me go ahead and bring these comments up so I can actually see them. Um, I am currently explaining to people how, um, basically it's like a two for one bird, um, so whenever, in order to get into the Eternal of Noxtella, one has to be able to have obtained the curse mark by whatever reason, so basically you need to interact with Rani initially when you first meet her, serve her, get her the Finger Slayer Blade, bring it back. She'll give you the inverted carrion statue. You'll take it to the carrion study hall, place it, make your way up after, or well, technically reverse, make your way down. Um, at the top here, you'll obtain her, cur well, a curse mark, the curse mark that she casts off, I believe. Um, so at this point, you could either choose which ending you're going to want to end through, such as Fia or Ronnie. And after you've decided that, I went with Fia because I don't think, I think I messed hers up the first time I went through and still ended up doing Ronnie's. But, um, after you have that curse mark, you can head over to the Rennes Rise, head up, and you'll be able to take a portal that will teleport you to the Einsel River Main. There's also another way to get there, but I don't quite remember what the other way was. And as then you proceed through here. Uh, at some point, somewhere, you end up getting a Ronnie doll. You'd have to sit down at Grace, talk to her, and talk to her, blah, blah, blah. She'll ask you to beat a baleful shadow. So as you're advancing towards your lake of rot, you'll run into it basically right about here. After you beat the baleful shadow, she'll give you a key that you can take to the chest 
in Ranala's chamber, which a lot of people probably is not 100% sure how to open that. You open that, you'll get a ring that you need to give Ronnie at the end of her quest line. Um, but I'm actually um, I'm gonna put a better description in the link or a better description in the description so people can understand a little bit better. But I'm also gonna be calling it probably here for this one simply because um, I think I've gotten the point across of what needed to be done. But I am gonna come back with basically. Um, what Glintstone Dragon Adula gives you, and I missed one ever goal in this area before that I need to go through and record so people can see as well. So I'll see you real soon, King Rashawn, if you want to join me in the next one I'm popping up, um, and I'll give a little bit of an overcap of this area and how to basically get here and all the little neat stuff that's laying around in this area. So as always, guys, I'll see you real soon. Sorry, this one is a little bit sporadic. It's it, there's a bunch of it, the quest line isn't so convoluted. There's just like 16 different things you have to do for Ronnie basically, and if you decide to go through with hers without going through with like Fia's, you miss out on that. So and so. But I'll see you guys real soon. Like, comment, sub for more. Um, I do have a level 1 playthrough I'm doing, I don't think really anybody seems to be interested in that, but I've literally done a guide for almost like every cave, catacomb, and all that stuff, but uh, like I said, I'll see you guys real soon, real, real soon.